can see like that one. That this is a this is a drawing I did with my girlfriend back home. And then that sort of trouser text was actually just her pajamas. I scanned it into the, <laughs> into the computer. And that that sort of thing gives uh, gives a really lovely soft feel to the actual colours and stops that kind of Photoshop harshness from showing through. Um, I'm on a tight schedule. It's really great for kind of doing something in, in absence of being able to fully paint everything. Um, then, depending upon the scene, what I'll do is create a new layer, select select all the kind of select the layer transparency for my cell shading and invert it so it's the opposite so it's the opposite selection. So what I've got selected is all the highlights, and then I'll put in a, a wash. So like just say a uh, single layer on a normal mode with 20% yellow. And if, if they're in sunlight, this will give the this will give the scene a really lovely warm colour palette. Or if say for example they're being lit by a harsh um, by harsh kind of uh, I don't know, wind up lighting or something, then it would be a sort of a pale blue wash over the top of it. Um, or sometimes I don't do any wash at all. So that's, that's it in, in a nutshell. There's one little trick I like to do which makes the work look really nice and soft is once I've finished, I'll duplicate my, um, my live up layer and stick another one on top so this is just exactly the same. Take it down to maybe 10% transparency and then put a Gaussian blur on it. And this just makes it kind of a really lovely sort of soft edge feel to the whole thing without, and you've got to be really careful with this. If it's too obvious, it'll look really tacky. Um, but, as long as you play around with the percentage and make it match the illustration, it can look really lovely. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, I always, I always find it hard to judge people's, um, judge people's credentials if I can't yes. see them kind of. And had I known you were going to give me a portfolio critique, I probably would have brought something, you know, <laughs> that you could have like read out in one city or something. Yeah. Yeah, these are round candles. Oh, that's cool, yes. It's nice, you don't you don't lose the energy of the pencils in your actions. Thank you. Although occasionally you lose the form. Yep. Maybe try um, not for your actual finished comics, but try working straight into ink every now and then. Um, just keep in a sketchbook where you try and kind of capture the facial expressions and have poses like this without relying on the pencils. because um, you seem to go through like three different stages. Do your kind of your blue pencils. Yeah, I do like a layout and then pencils and then inks. Yeah, and then your sharp pencils and then your inks over the top. Um, and although obviously that, that kind of allows you to build it up stage by stage, and that's what I have to do with my drawing, um, you, it's always useful to, to be able to have that vitality in your drawing where you're, you're even if you're tracing, you're drawing it again. Yes. And that's what I try to do with the inks. I, I really don't like to trace, I really like the, the inks to look, you know. Nothing like the drawing. pencils. You know, yeah. obviously like the pencils, but with their own characters. Yeah, totally. And I, I, I think um, uh, where where your like for example, this hand is fantastic. I've got a really great sense of three dimension in those fingers and yeah. and the joints. You know, the real kind of uh, it's confident the lines that you're using. Whereas this hand, if you've lost three dimensionality in like the fingers because the uh, yeah, it's a little more exaggerated. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it looks like that. That finger is, is like paint the flat because those those little joint things don't follow the actual kind of curves that the joint would. Even if you've got that really simplified kind of bold line style, the times that it really works are when it also creates a, a, a kind of a, a depth to itself, um, and it looks like it just it would come with more practice. Yeah, more totally. Practice. There's yeah, there's still just certain certain shots that you know you get you're not confident on it. You yeah. just do it to get it done. And that's, I, I think that that's something, you know, like um, a good exercise you can do is just to sort of five minutes every day. Yeah, actually. <laughs> Guys, look for a website called Pose Maniacs. <laughs>